Hello everybody, uh, this is Richard. First off, like I said the other day, thank you for the ad, it's wonderful. Um, secondly, thank you for all the responses. I appreciate that everybody. Uh, I thank you all for your input. Um, and yeah, it was really great. A lot of great books were uh, recommended and I've got to check those out. But the first thing that I figured I'd check out is The Art of Piano Fingering um, by Rami. Um, it finally came in the mail today or it's very early Friday morning right now. So yesterday, uh, Thursday it came in and boy was I excited. Uh, my wife knew she, as soon as it came in, she was gonna lose me. Um, this is the page that I'm currently up to. I'm at page 24, slide, well actually, I'm up through uh, page 26. Um, it's kind of gone over things that I kind of already knew in terms of like fingering, but it really laid it out in a like beautiful way. Um, yeah, so far this book is killer and I can't wait to really go through it. I recommend it to anybody who's really looking at fingering things. Um, it really is a cool read. Um, it has some stuff on history, like all that jazz. Um, the stuff is fairly clear. Um, if it's not clear to you the first time around, like keep reading through it. A lot of times you'll begin to understand kind of the methodology behind what he's doing. Um, yeah. And the way that I learned scales, it was in a very systematic approach, but it definitely wasn't laid out like this. Um, now, throughout the book, like, he kind of uh, lays out, like, you know, the general rule, these types of things, right? Um, which is, like, super awesome. But then right here, he has a summary of it. And it was really cool just how he had it even laid out. And so from that, um, I had my little practice journal that I use, you know, when I practice guitar, which is my main instrument, or I practice piano, I've got like a lot of scribblings, a lot of me, you know, talking to myself is all falling apart. Um, but this is kind of what I, one thing that I devised, I mean, it's not complete, but, uh, wow, it's a little out of focus there, sorry. Um, but I realized, Oh wow, like there actually is kind of a, a method to the madness. Um, I just never saw it as clearly as what I put there. And I love visuals, so I mean, man, it just kind of happened rather naturally. Um, at any rate, I know I'm kind of blabbling on, but uh, I wanted to let you guys know that it did come in, um, and I'm very excited, and I dug in right away. Um, this is where I'm at. I'm probably gonna be practicing on the stuff because I'm a bit rusty. Um, but especially, man, he talks about this, this pivot, he got, to, he, he shows some really great pivoting exercises, um, that are actually really, really killer. Um, that's going to take me a little bit of time as well. Man, it's, he's just got like some really cool, very, very simple and easy to understand practices, um, or exercises, excuse me. Um, I, oh man, I'm just, I'm extremely excited. I'm sorry. I'm kind of gawking over this. Uh, like a child at Christmas, but um, I, like I said before, I'm super excited to really dive back in. Um, and when I have access to a teacher again, I can't wait to be ready to just go, you know, instead of spending a couple weeks or whatever the case may be to get back into the swing of things. I can be at a higher level than I was before. Um, so this is great. Um, Thanks again, you guys, for all the suggestions. Um, shout out to Rami. Uh, this is a wonderful book. Probably one of the, the best buys I've made um, textually. Um, and I can't wait to dig into more of it. I recommend it. Look at that beautiful picture on the back. <laughs> also, I love the size. I just love the aesthetic of this, in all honesty. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Uh, thanks, you guys. And I'll let you guys know what happens in the next like month or so. All right. Bye-bye.